How's it going, Teal Boys? It is week 10, and we have uh, a scary game coming up here this week against number 15 Penn State on the road. Uh, they're a 99 overall team across the board. They're 6-1. and one. They have a loss that I'm sure they are not happy about against Maryland last week, 14-2, and two, 17. Uh, they were sitting at number one in the country until they lost last week. Uh, they have a win against the current number three team in Nebraska. We're sitting at number two. Uh, it's worrisome. On top of all of that, we have a couple of injuries. The biggest injuries we've had so far, Radon Randall, our starting quarterback, is out with back spasms, and Marquise Jackson, our star uh, wide receiver and return man, also out with back spasms, both out for two weeks, uh, which is just brutal. So they will miss this game, and it makes me very, very sad. Uh, ESPN, what do we have in the top 25? We know that we're playing a ranked matchup, and I don't think we're alone. Purdue and Illinois play, Arkansas and Auburn play. Uh, Florida and Georgia play. That could be a big one. Again, we want Georgia to lose for recruiting reasons. And Arizona and USC will also play. Just crazy. Just crazy. Radon Randall sitting at number two on the Heisman watch list. But I'm not so sure he's going to be able to stay up there with his injuries. Uh, just, you know, unable to contribute for the next couple of weeks. So we'll hope that when he comes back, he can be monumentally good. Um, recruiting wise... Things are looking still very, very good for us. Um, I think that maybe we need to remove a couple of guys from the board, but if we're up at the top, it looks absolutely fantastic. We're in the lead with some major, major players. JJ Tyson, we're in the lead with Chris Douglas. Spencer Stanley, we're not in the lead, but as you can see, the gap in the bonus points between us and Georgia is getting bigger. We're up to 325, and they're down to 295. So we got 15 points back on the deficit last week. We're going to get even more this week. 30, I believe, if I can do quick math. Uh, Jeremy Harrison, we're gaining on Purdue. Mike Fontaine, we're in the lead. Billy White, we're in the lead. Like, it's just incre uh, incredible. Ryan Hall, in the lead. Elvis Payne, in the lead. Josh Bryant, in the lead. We're just down to 78 overall with all of those players that we've gone through, and we're either in the lead or gaining uh, in, in second place. So we can just continue to go down this list, and it's just absolutely phenomenal. A couple of guys that we are going to take off, so we'll have uh, a little bit to work with. Matt Robinson uh, has finally been offered this scholarship by Notre Dame, so we'll take him off. I think other than that, we're still in a, a decent spot. A couple of guys locked up, like uh, Jesse Bowie. We're down a bit still, but uh, Ole Miss hasn't offered him a scholarship, so he's stuck at that 73, which means we can erase the deficit and get him to commit relatively early. Everybody else looking pretty solid, so it's just like the best recruiting I've, I've ever had for sure. We do have two spots available, so I will fill those up, but we have... Two more guys ready for visits. Jesse Bowie, that guy with the Ole Miss game. Um, we could send him to Duke. It helps the complimentary visits, but also has the competitive visits. Uh, plus 50, plus 50, minus 50. Adds up still to plus 50. So we're going to go ahead and do that. It also gives us the 25 XP. And it's the only one against uh, an opponent that we can set up for. Derek Atkins is going to have to come in a bye week, though. We have a lot of bye weeks. Uh, I think next week is one. So week 11, week 14, and 15. We're going to go ahead and send him to the week 14 just to get more points than Middle Tennessee on our visit. And then with the remaining points, um, well, let's see. Should we scout Douglas Thomas? What does it look like? Are we doing good with him? Um, yeah, we're only 460 back, 68 overall wide receiver. He stays there, and he's going to stay on the board. And then five guys don't have scholarship offers, so let's just do that. I think everybody on the board at this point is somebody that we're at least interested in, and it's not, you know, out of the question that we could get them. So we'll offer scholarships to a few of these guys, and that's our recruiting done for the week. Well, let's go ahead and start loading into this game. Very, very nervous about it. The All-Whites have done us uh, very well so far this season. We have not lost a game. 
on the road while wearing the all white uniform so we're gonna stick with that and for penn state who again 99 overalls across the board we're gonna give them the throwbacks uh not much of a change but uh enough to make it a little bit interesting and uh we can you know show off some uh work that the cfb revamped mod team has gone ahead and done and as we load into this one we can see offensively they are better than us they're pretty solid defensively they are very good but we are better so uh it's just a question of how much we show up and how much our backups can get the job done their top players 99 98 96 outside linebacker tight end and defensive tackle uh Marquise is our second best player he's injured CJ Beasley and uh John Taylor maybe I don't remember his first name uh both on hot streaks which is nice and oh they have two corners out so their secondary is something that we could potentially attack that is fantastic news for us as we head into what might be the biggest game of our season we are under the lights here at Beaver Stadium as the, the Lions will look to bounce back from a pretty disappointing loss against Maryland last time out fans are going to be pretty raucous on this one I imagine as we go tails and it does not fail us so we will elect to kick this one off to start the game there's a six mile an hour crosswind on the night as Frederick will get this one into the end zone if for a touchback and we will see Kayvon Lee and the rest of the Penn State offense come out and try to work their magic tonight as this game gets underway I want to remind you guys to like the video if you end up enjoying it and maybe hit the subscribe button they're gonna run it and Oh, that's not good news for us. Manny Stokes missed, and it's a one-play touchdown for Penn State, unless one of these two madmen can get the tackle, and that's disappointing. Oh, well, uh, that's not the way that we wanted to start this one. Oh, well, okay, good news there. Northwestern upsets number three, Nebraska. So well, if we lose, we won't be the only top three team. Let's see if we can bounce back. We just gave a lot of momentum to the Penn State team, and the fans are going to be raucous. Charles Hart getting the return. He returned one last week for a touchdown. Almost took a second, but doesn't quite get the blocking there, and we'll start just across the 20. I need to remind myself that with Dave Williams, we're going to need to be reining ourselves in, not, you know going outside of his abilities and trying to make plays that Radon would be able to make. Essentially, that just means that we need to make sure we're not trying to scramble too much or make any ridiculous throws. As of course, right away, I'm outside the pocket. We do find Chad Bradshaw, but he's actually going to lose four yards, and it's third and long. This is the worst start to the game that I think we could have had. I don't know why I didn't just sit in the pocket there, because now they have all the momentum. Can we make the throw? Is somebody going to be open getting it off? There's David Williams, and he's... Not going to be able to break the tackle, but he's downfield. He's got the first down. He's got 26 yards as we are just about almost at midfield. That'll quiet this crowd for the moment as we'll try to hand it off on first down. And the blocking not quite there for C.J. Beasley. He does fall forward and he gets spotted two yards on the play. What can we get out of this second and eight? Looking to pass, not really seeing any pressure, making a throw over the middle, and Johnson somehow comes down with it. I don't know how DJ got the separation or how Dave got the throw off, but that's another completion. Williams is looking really solid to start this game. I'm making a, a little bit of a risky play here. We're going to go with the read option. Dave keeping it. He's got some blocks in front of him. He's got great blocks, and... I'm going to take the tackle from behind because he had a chance to really take that for a serious distance. That run gives us eight yards and gives us a second and two as we'll hand it off up the middle. CJ Beasley can get the first down on the ground and this drive is really moving well for us. Got to come away with points. If we get to a fourth down, I'm probably kicking a field goal. Hopefully it doesn't come to that though. Going to try the read option again. I'm going to utilize it as much as I can in this game, and I shouldn't have gone with the spin move. It's probably a first down if I don't. But I was worried about the block on the edge there. Still six yards. I'll look to the air on this one. DJ Johnson, maybe my main read outside the pocket. X may be open. Just got to get rid of it. Oh, that one was scary. Might have had Malcolm Williams, but I just don't feel comfortable in the pocket right now. 
Third and four. I don't like the way the defense is set. But we'll motion Hill over, try to get that extra blocker as we'll go with the counter on third down. And it doesn't seem like the blocking's there and it's not fourth and two. CJ Beasley doesn't have enough. And I think I'm going to have to settle for the field goal. Got to take the points. Can't leave anything on the board today. And I got to trust that the defense will get it done eventually in this game and allow us to jump back. We also get the ball to start the third quarter. So it's not the end of the world yet. Just got to make sure we force their offense to run more than one play on this drive. Uh, they will take another touchback. So from the 25, can the defense get the stop? Not sure what to expect other than maybe a handoff. No, they're going to go to the air. I left my man open, but I wasn't alone. Parker Washington had to dive to catch that, but he was wide open. A little bit worried about the coverage. If that's what it's going to look like, we're bringing the safety blitz as he runs out towards the edge and... Their blocking is looking really good right now. Gonna try the blitz again on this second down. They bring a man in motion. It's gonna be a pass and he throws it out to the running back who breaks another tackle. This guy is on it right now. Trying to bring the pressure on every play. It just hasn't worked out so far. This first down, it's gonna be an option out towards the edge and we should have stopped them for a loss. But this running back is so strong. He got two positive yards there. Doesn't seem like there's anything we can do to stop him. This handoff, thankfully stopped. Oh, that was close to being a big one, but the lineman got off his block and got to him. So we've got a third down to try to contend with. Seven yards to defend. And they're going to step back to pass. Somebody's got to be open. There it is. Oh, my gosh. He's going to break two tackles, one tackle, and Jaden Dotton gets dotted up by the quarterback. And, well, it's a first and goal. First and goal. I'm going to go ahead and bring out the goal line defense already. We'll hope to hold them just to a field goal. I don't have high hopes because our tackling hasn't been great. We gave up a yard on first down. I don't expect the most of our guys on second down either. This is going to be a run. And we had the chance to stop him at the line again. He broke a tackle and got a yard. Third and goal. I'm dropping back into the zone again, hoping for the best. It's going to be a run and we couldn't get there in time. A touchdown for Penn State. Just disappointing the way this first quarter has gone. We knew it was going to be tough coming in. And I think it's almost necessary for us now to score a touchdown on this one. A returnable kick for Charles Hart. If he can get some good blocks, he can do a lot for us. And Charles gets his good field position with 44 seconds left in the first quarter. The offense had a pretty solid drive their first time out, but just couldn't quite convert on a third and four and had to settle for the field goal so let's just hope that we can continue cj gets six yards on the first carry really got to hope that we can pick on the corners that are out but on second down we'll hope for the best and there's malcolm williams he could have been gone he was on a curl if that was just a streak he might have been gone for six fortunately david is able to get the ball in his hands and we get the first down looks like they want to bring pressure because we're going to run with the counter, and thank goodness that man got blocked as Brayden Bennett comes in. Struggles to get the yards, but does go positive for three yards. And that's going to be it for our first quarter. Down 11 points uh, as it stands right now. We gave up uh, a really disappointing one-play touchdown, and then the defense just couldn't quite hold on third and goal. Offense needs to figure it out as well. And we will hope that it'll start on this play. Second and seven, gonna hand the ball off to Braden Bennett again. And the run up the middle sees a lot. Not quite enough for the first down, but he's so, so close. Hopefully a run up the middle can get us there. And that's exactly what we're gonna go with. They are pretty spread out here on the line. So we'll see if the line holds. We'll be just fine. Bennett gets through, gets five yards, and the offense just continues to pick up yards. The next question is, will they be able to pick up some points? Will they be able to find the end zone? First and 10 on the play action, waiting. Tough throw. It's probably picked off Williams. Oh my gosh, that one had a chance to be caught by about five different people. Incredibly lucky that that wasn't an interception from Dave, but we live to fight another day and we're going to run it again on this second down and we got nothing doing. They brought the blitz and it got there all too easily. 
We've got a third down to work with here, and it's not going to be easy to pick it up. We'll look to the air. We'll throw it, and we might have had our running back open, but Dave gets hit as he's throwing, and it's incomplete. <laughs> We've got a 48-yard field goal, but I forgot that the wind is coming against us this quarter, so I'm going to have to take a delay a game, and I think we're going to punt the ball and try to cough and corner him. Uh, it's not at all what I wanted to have happen, but I don't think we can give them this good a field position. I'm not so certain that this is going to be a good punt for me. I'm going to hope for the best. We need a good bounce. We need a really good bounce. And we didn't get it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. two degrees to the right. And I think that's coffin cornered. Instead, they get the ball at the 20. And once again here, our defense is going to have to face the task of getting the stop. They bring a man in motion. They're going to hand it off, and Manny Stokes gets his tackle broken. Of course, because why would we get a tackle on the first attempt and we give up 20 yards on first down? His running back is now averaging 20 yards per carry. That's absolutely absurd as they will step back to pass, and they've had a man open. They, they <laughs> We can't do anything to stop these guys right now. This is completely embarrassing the way that we're getting manhandled on defense. Supposed to be one of the best defenses in the country. I was expecting the run, so I'm not there to cover him. And look at another broken tackle and another, and they get to 35 yards. I, I have no answer right now. The man coverage is non-existent. The zone hasn't done us any good. Blitzing isn't doing anything. Sitting back isn't doing anything. Look at this, quarterback taking off. Maybe he tried to slide, but we got the big hit. We need him to fumble the ball is what we need. Second and six, expecting a run. It's a screen to the running back. Oh, I was really hoping Emmanuel Bush could have got there for the pick. We do drop him for a loss of four and bring up the third down. The problem is that so far in this game, we've done absolutely nothing to stop these third down attempts. Looking to pass. They got one over the middle, and thank goodness... Man had to dive. It's fourth and six, and the defense got the stop. Maybe a little bit via luck. So we hold them to a field goal attempt here. As they're letting the clock burn a little bit, and the kick is good on this one. So it's a 14-point deficit for us. And we need a touchdown very, very desperately. Not a whole lot going there for Charles Hart. Unfortunately, unlike them, we can't break the tackle, so we're about at the 25-yard line. And if we are unable to find the end zone on this drive, our hopes for the game in general are looking pretty bad. Going with the option keeper on first down. Gets us five yards. We'll look to throw, but I don't feel all that confident about it as there's a man open. Can we find it? Chad Bradshaw. Oh, man, that is so tough. I really hate not being able to scramble. We get 27 yards there, though. Looking to pass again on first down. Going with the safe one, we find Logan Malden. No first down, so the clock will keep moving, but we get nine yards. And we're doing a great job now moving the ball. Question is, when is it going to stall out? Because that's happened every drive so far. CJ Beasley kind of got pushed forward as he broke a tackle, and he gets nine yards on the carry. This could be a perfect opportunity for another read option. We'll hope for the best as we will hand this one off. And CJ <laughs> only got two yards. That was a struggle just running into the back of our lineman the whole time. Second and eight now inside two minutes. They're going to bring a little bit of pressure. We got DJ Johnson open and he gets out of bounds. So third and two at the clock stopped. No matter what, I have to go for it on fourth down in this situation. Looking to run it up the middle with C.J. Beasley. Blocking holds, and that's going to be the first down and a little bit more for C.J. as we'll go back into the hurry up here. Going to hit him with the dive. They're really not bringing a whole lot of pressure up the middle, it seems like, so that's where we need to hit him as the block just didn't quite hold up for C.J. and only gets three yards there. If possible, I'd like to score basically as time expires so that we can just score and then get the ball back and maybe tie it up. So a minute and 10 left in this first half. Braden Bennett cuts upfield. Gets scary that we're going to fumble there, but instead it's third and two. And now inside a minute on third down, we're going to try to run the ball again. Braden Bennett in. The blocking is there, and that's a touchdown. 
We finally, finally found the end zone. It took almost all of the half to do it, but we've brought it back to a seven point deficit. The biggest problem is that we left them 44 seconds in all three timeouts to try and do some work as they are gunning this one down the field. Thankfully burned a couple of seconds, but they got a good return out of it. Really just going to hope that they do throw the football as we're going to go 3-3-5 on this drive and try to defend. My goodness, dude, their guys are getting open on any route that they choose. Quarterback is perfect passing the ball so far today as they did take their first time out. Flash are getting there. Okay, Manny got the deflection. So finally an incompletion, a risky one. I hate to say it, but I think that was close to a pass interference on us. Can't complain too much as they will go with the play action. And there's a man wide open. Oh my gosh, they take their second time out. 25 seconds, but they got 19 more yards. We need them to make a mistake with their clock management at this point. First and 10, they step back to pass. And there's a man wide open. Jenkins can't get the tackle. Charles does, but... First down inside the red zone. Just nothing that we can do at this point is what it seems like to me. They step back to pass again. The quarterback gets sacked and the clock is running at this point. The, they might get in trouble here. If they try to run a play, we just have to hold them. This is going to be the final play of the half as they step back to pass. And time expires and they get nothing. Oh, the defense held because they made a foolish mistake. Take the time out and kick the field goal, Penn State. What are you thinking? 17 to 10 as we head into the locker room, but we get the ball to start the third quarter. So a chance for us to tie up this game. Uh, defense has been struggling. They need to figure out a way to get a true stop. Uh, in this game offense for what they're missing is doing a good enough job They just need to continue to grind out those possessions, but that's really up to the defense to win this game for us I think Let's hope for the best. Maybe a good return from Charles to start it. It is a returnable ball We'll see is there any blocking for him? <laughs> of course, there's not Oh, We're struggling today 85 yards is the distance that we'll need to go to score a touchdown as they want to bring pressure and I'm not even going to try to risk getting sacked. So we will run it up the middle. A good four-yard carry for Brayden Bennett. Trying the read option once again. I think sometimes it's almost more useful to do it with a quarterback who isn't a good runner because maybe they don't expect it. And there Dave goes to pick up a first down. What can we get through the air again? It looks like they want to bring pressure. I'm going to send Tyson Mobley deep and hope for the best as we will need to get this pass off quickly. There's Williams. I was late making the throw, so we can't get it to Malcolm. It's a second and 10, and that one is entirely on me for the reason it's incomplete. Should have been caught, but I goofed up as I might have done it again. Tyson Mobley holds on to that one. Those curl routes working pretty well right now. With this first down as we near midfield, we're going to run it up the middle. And CJ Peasley got popped on that one. Somehow got a yard, but that was a pretty hard hit. We'll see if the running game can continue to work for us. Going again with the fake fly and then to the counter as there's no blocking for CJ Peasley. He's going to lose two yards and bring up a third and very long for us. Gonna have to rely on some luck on this one, I think. Seeing who gets open. There it is. Logan Malden completely unguarded. And they just ignore the tight end and we just keep this drive alive. This is one of those scary games that I just don't feel comfortable the whole time. But somehow we're trying to make it work. Look at they want to bring pressure. Can we get somebody open early? We gotta we gotta hold everybody back and just hope that one of our guys gets free. Because this has a, a big chance. Maybe Mobley comes down with it somehow. The step back cheese isn't there, but we're inside the red zone. I don't know how that one was an intercepted. I don't even know what happened to his defender on the catch. Uh, Taking a look, it just went through. He just ran the wrong way. Maybe tried to jump it. I'm not going to complain, though. We get down to the 14-yard line with that one, and... Beasley is in. We're going to run it towards the edge with him. He's got great blocking. CJ Beasley into the end zone. It's a tie ball game here in the third quarter. As he takes it 14 yards to the house. And it's up to the defense now to give us a chance to take the lead. 
But the offense for missing two big players is cooking. I don't get to see blocking that good that often in our games. So it's really nice when it happens. They're going to take a touchback. The defense, again, 75 yards to defend here. Just need uh, an early stop. Set some momentum for us. They're going to step back to pass. Oh my gosh, that dude was wide open. He's running all over the place. Finally comes free. Nobody there to guard him. I'm expecting a run to this running back at any second now. So I'm going to try to be ready for that. Uh-oh, I got beat, but I wasn't alone. And thankfully, the quarterback just throws it away. Only his second incompletion of the game. That fortunately gives us a second to breathe. This again, I'm expecting a run. And this is the one. It's a counter out towards the edge. Smith gets the tackle. Holds him up, but he got eight yards. Third and two now. This is an absolutely massive chance. For us to get in and disrupt stuff. It's an option out towards the edge. And Smith gets the tackle. It's a loss of two. It's fourth and four. They might go for it. But I'm expecting them maybe just to punt this one away from midfield. The punt team is what takes the field. And the defense comes out. And, you know, with some new life in the second half. Gets the stop. We probably should return this. They're going to, oh my gosh, just burn us with that punt inside the 10. And even worse, it's inside the five at the four-yard line. If we score on this drive, it's definitely deserving as we have a long ways. 96 yards to go to find pay dirt as CJ Beasley gets three yards and gets us a little bit further away from the risk of a safety. Second and two, I'm going to do what's been working pretty well for us. And look at the read option, and it's going to be one that we hand off. CJ up the middle. Oh, so close to having... A little bit more space. Gets two more yards for us. These third downs haven't worked the best for us so far in this game. But I'm hoping that it works out this time on third down. Five wide stepping back to pass. And there's a wide open Logan Malden. I don't know if anybody's going to be able to catch him. Although, yeah, he does not have the speed. Still getting the stiff form. She's inside the 25. That's 68 yards downfield. How, is, how are you going to get burned by Logan Malden? Oh, man, what a pass and what a route there. A little bit more speed and that's six for sure. We're in field goal range. And in this game, I would take the points if we need to. But I'm looking for sixes. I'm going to try to run this one. I'm going to run it to the other direction. They just seem stacked up on that left side. So we'll run it to the right. And, well, CJ had nothing doing. So <laughs> can't complain about two yards on that one. That was another big hit. So far on the day, two touchdowns and one field goal in the red zone. That is perfect for us as we get outside the pocket. And I'm going to make a risky throw. Oh, CJ almost came down with that one. Good defense to break up the pass, but he had a chance to go up and get the pick. And, and he just couldn't hold on to it. All right, third and eight. Hoping for the best again. I don't expect this one to go well, but you better believe we're going to try. JJ Barr, the fullback. Breaks the tackle and gets into the end zone on a receiving touchdown. 20 yards and this team continues to cook on offense without Radon and without Marquise. The, they are stepping up big time. We take a seven point lead. I'm not sure about you guys, but I did not expect this game to go quite this direction. <laughs> I didn't want to come back so far. We're looking really, really solid. With just 46 seconds left in the third quarter, Penn State now looking at a chance of uh, two losses in a row. Oh, I knew where that run was going. I just didn't quite hit the gap. Thankfully, we only give up five yards. And if you're Penn State, you maybe just think about handing the ball off to Lee exclusively as the second and five comes. They move a man in motion, and that looks like it's going to be another handoff, and it is a first down as he gets seven that time. I'm not going to budge on defense. I'm just going to continue to play the same cover two here. Maybe switch to some cover threes. But if they want to continue to run the ball, that's fine with me because the clock's going to keep ticking. I trust in the defense or uh, sorry, I should say trust in the offense to get a stop or, or to score. My goodness, I'm all over the place. I trust in the offense to get a score at this point if need be. That should bring us into the fourth quarter. I don't expect them to get this playoff, and yeah, they won't. So, into the fourth. I did not expect to have the lead in this one. Not the way that this game started, but here we are, up 24-17. Looking 
for uh, a, a really big win on the road. Oh, man. If we win this one, I'm going to lose my dang mind. They're stepping back to pass. Quarterback, plenty of time, and he throws it away. Risky to throw it towards Leon because he's already got a couple of interceptions on the season. They're fortunate that that one does just get out of bounds as they will set up here on second down. A man in motion. I'm kind of expecting a run, and no, they're going to step back and look to pass, and that's on me. I gave up the pass to the running back. I was worried about the tight end. Nobody to blame but myself, and I'm going to bring pressure here. It's the backup running back who's in. I was expecting it to get to him, and okay, the pressure works. We get to the quarterback, and we force him to throw it away. I've definitely noticed that this QB likes to throw it away if he feels any sort of pressure. So that's working really well for us as we have them in a third down here, and it's not an easy one either. Six yards to go. Can we manage to get this stop? Kind of expecting a run, but they will go to the air. And two guys to cover. I don't know who to watch. Three guys. They're all over the place. And I just didn't know <laughs> where I needed to be. If I left one, another one would have been open. So I don't know what Manny Stokes was doing. He just got burned all over the place on that play as they get the first in goal. And it's going to take a monumental effort to get the stop. That's a good start. A loss of two on first down brings up second and goal. Will Phillips gets the clutch tackle as their third string running back comes in. They go with the pitch, and they're going to lose three more yards. So third and goal and a lot of space that we just have to cover. Risk of them throwing for this, but we could hold them to a field goal. I'm going to take a really big risk here. And just go with the cover two on the play and hope that we can just prevent the throw. They go with the screen. And Charles Hart can't get the tackle. Just had to push him another inch to the left. And he would have been out of bounds. Instead, it's a touchdown for the Penn State Nittany Lions. And this is all tied up. 4.30 to go. A returnable kick. A field goal would put us in the lead. Enough of a lead to win it. Although, Charles Hart. He has a little something to say about it as he gets a great return out to the 40-yard line. We desperately need points on this drive. Even if it's a field goal, that's fine. Um, We just can't come up empty-handed. Trying the counter on first down, CJ Beasley gets nothing. And I'm real worried about Penn State's defense here. Second and 10, we're going to step back and look to pass. Actually, outside the pocket, I'm going to scramble with Dave, and I'm going to slide down. I saw an easy five yards to pick up. I think somebody might have been open, but I'm going to take that on the ground. That lets the clock continue to move, but it brings up a third down that we need to convert desperately. We're not in field goal range, that's for sure. Risky one, Tyson Mobley has it. Oh, he had a man right there, but he's able to come down with it, and the drive will stay alive. We've been doing a good job running the ball so far in this game, but I'm worried that it's about to stop as we try the read option again. Dave Williams getting some blocks, sliding down for seven on that one as we're going to go below three minutes to play now. If we don't pick up points on this drive, I don't know if we'll have enough time at the end of it. So it's very, very important that we come away with something. DJ Johnson, he was wide open for the first down, but Dave just threw it behind him, so it's incomplete. And third and three. I'm going to take a risk here, and I'm going to run the ball. I am really, really worried that this is the wrong call. And in fact, I want to run it the other direction. Let's motion DJ Johnson over. And let's hope CJ Beasley gets the blocking. He's got a lot in front of him, and CJ Beasley gets the first down for us. No problem that time. The drive stays alive, and we can continue to burn the clock as we're nearing field goal range. All tied up, 24 all, 2.30 to play. Another handoff. Brayden Bennett goes up the middle, breaks a tackle, and gets another first down on an 11-yard pickup there. Absolutely phenomenal, and now it's time maybe to run it. I don't like the way that they're stacked up on the line, so we're going to call the quick pass. We're going to see if we can get this away. And hope for the best. Feels like they're bringing pressure. Got to throw it up. Chad Bradshaw couldn't come down with a good play from Marcus Barrow on the defense to get the deflection. 
I knew that we couldn't afford to try the sweep with how much pressure they had up on the line there. So the throw almost there. I think we had somebody else open, but it just got to gotta go for what I think is going to work. And on this one, oh, I threw the wrong route. Beasley comes down with it. You only get a yard, though. Third and nine, the clock is moving. And I am so incredibly worried about this one. On third down, is anybody going to be open? Throwing it up. Oh, my gosh. I'm lucky it wasn't picked off. Fourth and nine. We're going to have to settle for the field goal with a minute and a half. I don't like this at all as the kick is up and oof, pushed it a little wide, but it's good. We have a three-point lead, but Penn State has a minute and a half in all their timeouts, and they have moved the ball very efficiently on offense so far. So we are going to boot this one away. It's going to be returnable for them, fielding it at the goal line. We need to get a good stop here. A couple seconds will burn on the return. They do get out past the 25, just barely, though. While I think the 4-3 would probably be better for us to stop the run, I'm not worried about the run. We're going 3-3-5. They're opening up with a slip screen, which is great news because we're going to tackle them for a loss of four with the clock moving. Their star running back isn't even in the game right now as they're going to step back to pack. Somebody has to be open. There it is. Oh, no. Oh, no. Clock ticking down. Jenkins needs to get the tackle. He knocks him out of bounds, but 54 seconds, and they are in field goal range. That was just disastrous coverage there. That could not have been much worse as I got stuck on a defensive lineman. They're going to run this ball up the middle, which is so dangerous, but they get the first down and they'll take their first time out with 50 seconds left. If they score a touchdown, we have to score one as well, which is so terrifying to me. So try to move the, the ball with so little time. This one tackled in bounds. They're going to take their second time out. 47 seconds. I might be tempted to start taking timeouts for us at this point. Second and eight. It's a slip screen. Can we get there with Kale Mackey? We can. We knock him out of bounds, which I honestly think is good. And it's third and seven. Don't have to worry about the clock right now. Is All we have to do is get one stop on this play. They could go back to the screen. Third and seven, and that's what they're doing. Can we get there with Kale Mackey? Can we get there with anybody needing to get the tackles? And we do. I'm going to take the timeout. It's fourth and four. 36 seconds left. And all we need right now is basically for them to miss the field goal. That would be nice. I'm expecting them to hit it. The kick is up, and it's through. We're all locked up at 27 apiece with 33 seconds left on the clock. If Charles wanted to take one to the house, now would be the time. He could be an absolute hero as this is a very returnable kick. Just a yard or two into the end zone. And Charles Hart, he's not going to have the speed. Oh, he was so close to breaking free and giving us great field position. We do start at the 27, but with 29 seconds and two timeouts. I don't trust David Williams all that much to get it done. We'll see. Maybe somebody gets wide open. Oh my gosh, there was two guys. No, it's intercepted. They're going to get the pick six. We had it for sure. Touchdown. Two guys wide open. I couldn't get the pass off. Are you kidding me? That is literally disaster for us. Oh, 22 seconds in all our time, or two of our timeouts. We need a miracle now to, to tie this one up or to win it. Charles Hart with a great return. Charles Hart down the sidelines, and it's not completely over. 16 seconds, it would take a miracle, but we were so close last time out. If they make the same mistake as they did on the last drive, we might be able to punish them for it. Throwing it up for Williams. Williams comes down with it. 10 seconds, and it's first and goal. It might take a miracle, but we're here for it. On first and goal, Williams outside the pocket, scrambling for it, and David Williams will go into the end zone with two, six seconds left on the clock. We're going to tie the game up. Everything seemed like it was disaster for us, but a miracle ties it up, and Penn State's going to ice us on the extra point, but we all know Frederick has ice in his veins. The kick is up, and it's good. All tied up. It looks like we're going to go to overtime. I accidentally went into the onside kick. I was just so used to that. So we had to burn our final timeout to come to this, and now we're going to just squib this kick and hope that the six seconds burn out and they don't get a run of play from scrimmage. It is going to be fielded. I'm going to try to back them up. Uh-oh, three seconds left. We could see a Hail Mary. This one's not over yet. 
We're gonna go full on prevent on this one as we know it's coming. Question is, can we stop it? This is maybe an interceptable ball. It's dropped, it's bobbled around finally. Hits the turf. Oh, zeros on the clock at the end of the fourth, but this game's not over. We're headed to overtime. We're gonna get the coin toss first. We're hoping for tails again. And it will be heads, so it looks like our offense is gonna have to come out and start right away. At this point, win or lose from the team with two of their best players out injured. I gotta say, they've put up one hell of a fight. Beasley, oh my gosh, somehow breaks a tackle and gets six yards on what was a completely broken play. That'll bring up a second and four. And they're bringing pressure. We're actually just gonna run it away from the pressure. On second down, Beasley gets a, a little bit more. It's third and three. We have to go for touchdowns. I don't think we're gonna hold them to a field goal. There's a lot of danger in that mindset though. Uh, was it last season? We had uh, a game that should have been won that I screwed up and lost in overtime. Gonna hope that that's not a repeat today. Outside the pocket looking to scramble. They're gonna give me the space to run. I'm gonna let Dave pick up the yards and slide down for a first and goal. Absolutely zero respect for the running ability of our backup quarterback. And we're making him pay as a result on first and goal. Braden Bennett getting the carry up the middle. Oh, he was close to breaking that tackle. He gets two yards closer to the end zone for us. From the six yard line now, we're gonna run another read option. It's been working. We're gonna give Williams a chance. And no, it's gonna be handed off to Braden Bennett and he gets hit immediately. The blocking held up for less than a second. We lose a yard, it's third and goal. Really tempted to run that one again, but we can't quite afford to do it outside the pocket. Maybe picked off Bennett. Oh my gosh, hit it at the exact time the ball got there. Could have been pass interference. Refs don't call it. And I think we're going to lose this. I'm going to settle for the field goal and trust the defense. I just feel like if we miss the, uh, if we don't score a touchdown, we for sure lose. So we had a, a couple of opportunities and I screwed them up. Time for the defense to step up and prove their worth. First down, they're gonna step back to pass. Quarterback gets sacked! I think that's Kale Mackey getting in there on the blitz. It's a loss of seven and it's second and 17. Almost uh, best case scenario on that first down for us as they'll step back to pass again and over the middle they have a man wide open. And we give up 14 yards. It is still third down though. I'm taking a big risk on this one. The safety blitz on third and three. No, they're gonna step back to pass. We're in big trouble. They've got a man wide open in the end zone and it's game. Our coverage was atrocious all game long. We didn't get the pressure on the quarterback on that one. And we lose a heartbreaker. Oh man, I'm real upset about that. Had every chance to win it, but couldn't hold on. That freaking pick six really put us on the back foot. And we come away with our first loss of the season. Disappointing. The dream of a perfect season dies tonight in the state of Pennsylvania. The disappointing overtime loss. We just couldn't find the end zone. A couple of plays I really think that we should have had it, but just goofed up. And that pick six when we had two guys streaking downfield completely wide open hurt so much. Uh, it likely would have just been a win for us in regulation, but instead, there it is. Uh, we outrushed them barely. They outpassed us by a decent amount. We lose the turnover battle. Uh, I mean, their quarterback went 21 and 26 for 320 yards and a couple of touchdowns. That's pretty rough. David Williams at 15 and 25, 290 yards, some good carries. Honestly, for a backup starting in his first game, played very well. Uh, I couldn't ask for a whole lot more for him. Just couldn't get it started early enough in the game and then we just couldn't quite close it out but um you know only two weeks left until we get the boys back and with a, a bye week in there as well hopefully we see raid on back sooner rather than later it really hurts not to be a double digit wins right now i'll tell you that much nine and one number two in the country thankfully we lose to penn state so they go from first to number 15 and they should jump back up into the top 10 so our one loss looks really really good uh and we still have a clear path to the playoffs if we just win the conference but it still hurts quite a bit uh you never you never want that to happen so we we'll advance the week we have a bye then we play duke where i think we'll see a bunch of guys commit because we have 
a ton of visits scheduled. And then we have UNC and then a bye and then a bye. So two games left in the regular season. Uh, let's try to put this one behind us and just get ourselves to that conference championship game. Uh, we are still in a recruiting battle with a bunch of guys. Victor Carr, the running back, is now ready to visit. We did get a bunch of XP that game, which is nice. And ooh, we only dropped to number six. So I can't be too upset. Somehow Penn State only jumps up to number 13 after beating the number two team in the country. What the heck happened in the polls for that to be the case? Um, must have been some other teams that lost. We know that Purdue lost and Nebraska lost and Arkansas. So two, three, four, five, all lost this past week. And yet somehow Penn State can only jump up two spots. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty crazy. Any other losses? Uh, let's see, number 18, Florida took a loss and dropping out will be LSU, Texas A&M, and Arizona. Unfortunately, Florida losing means that Georgia won, which is bad news for us, but we definitely can climb back up. Uh, only two undefeated teams at the top, Texas and USF, surprisingly. 7-0, 3-0 in the American, so they basically just had to play bunch of conference games 81 overall who knows maybe we get lucky and we draw them first round of the playoffs i wouldn't mind that how's the bcs look still just sitting at six there usf no respect michigan two losses is sitting at number two and oklahoma with two losses is sitting at number three interesting very very interesting the awards semi-finalist lists are now out but we're going to wait until the next episode to figure that out. We will start with our recruiting, uh, where again, I think we're getting really close to pulling in even more recruits. Things are looking pretty, pretty impressive for us. So again, it's just excited to see where that goes. Upset by the loss, but I mean, we're still nine and one. It's definitely not like our season's gone down the drain. We're definitely in control of our own destiny, um, especially with the 18 playoffs. So. Uh, a disappointing loss, but at least we only dropped four spots in the rankings and we're uh, able to come back knowing that we have a strong quarterback and we'll get to play against Duke, who is or at least should be a little bit worse than Penn State. So I don't know. I think we're in an OK spot still. All that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you like the video, please feel free to, to hit the like button. Again, uh, one like is one fewer back spasm for Radon and Marquise. Uh, and while you're down there, please feel free to hit subscribe as well if you want to get notified when new videos get posted to the channel. And while you're down there doing those, head to the description where you can find links to my Twitch at twitch.tv slash goonmaster, as well as links to my Twitter and our community Discord. But all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Goonmaster. You guys are the deal, boys. And wherever you are, have a good night or have a good morning. We'll see you later. Adios.